Let's talk about the whole team's performance. One and zero, and uh, feel good to already have matched last year. You hit it right there, number one. One and zero. That's all you could ask for. You know, offensively, you know, we did some things. We left some meat on the bone. That we're going to go in and watch film, correct? But um, I was happy getting the win. Did and you then, expect to play most of the game? Did you expect to come out earlier than that? Did, did you have any idea what was going to go out of the rotation? No, I expected to play how I was going to play. Okay. And then with some of the reads you were making, you were keeping the ball a lot on a lot of the run options. Can you talk me through that? What was going through your head? And you were making a lot of the right reads. What were you liking some of the reads you were making? Did you want to take some of them back? Or yeah, no, I felt I felt good with all my decision making. Um, you know, run game they were stacking the box, so I have to read one and you know make some plays with my legs. There's a couple drives in particular where you guys are really pushing the ball. Kind of the orange is the new fast offense that Coach Baber likes to talk about. Is that where you're more, most comfortable when kind of offense is clicking? You get to sling the ball, run it with Tucker, and get down in the field? Of course, yeah. You know, getting the first first down is the most important thing. Once you get that, the momentum gets going, tempo gets going, that's how we win games. What did you see from the offensive line going against another team? They did awesome. I mean, clearly the run game spoke for itself. You know, that's that's all we could ask for. You know, obviously there's things we can correct on film and we're going to get better with going week to week, but I was happy with their performance. Is it just a matter of, like, physicality and execution? Is there anything with communication you noticed? Like, I mean, yeah, all, all of that, of course, ties into it. But, I mean, just the gelling of the group, like I said, you know, guys, it's another year playing under their belt. You know, we've got veterans now. We have a veteran offensive line, so that's what we expect week to week. Tommy, I might be forgetting something, but that seemed like the most effective you've been running the ball. Um, is there any reason why you know you might feel more comfortable this year than previous years, or, or why it might have been more successful? I mean, just just the defense that they were playing and the run scheme that we had going on. You know, they, like I said, they were stacking the box, and then so I'm I'm reading one off the edge. If he comes down for Sean Tucker or whoever's running back in, I gotta oh, I gotta right. replace that gap. So I just kind of was going. When did you guys know Sean Tucker was kind of? different and special uh, as a running back? Georgia Tech. We scored that one. He had a little, everyone thought he was down, but he kind of like a little spin move popped up and scored. That's, that was a different move right there. Hey, Tommy, take us through that touchdown score you had at the end of the, at the, end of the game. How did that feel getting that first score? It felt good, you know, just to get the offense on the board, you know, get the momentum going because the defense feeds off the offense and vice versa. So for us, for them to be able to get a stop and then us to be able to put points up on the board, that gets the, that gets the game rolling. Tommy, you guys were underdogs. Did you take that personally? Did you guys make any statement here? I mean, it was definitely seen and talked about for a small bit of time. But, um, I mean, just it's we could be underdogs. We could be projected to win by however many. You know, you still got to go out and play football. It doesn't matter. That doesn't change anything about the game. So you just have to go out and execute. A couple more for Tommy. Did you feel like you had more success running a fast-paced offense when you guys were going no huddle, going quickly? No doubt. We were rolling. You know, when the ball's rolling, that's all you could do. If, if, it's not, if, it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we just we stuck with that, and that's what worked. You and Taz were really close to getting a couple of touchdowns. Can you kind of take me through those two plays, is it being just off? Or is there something you guys can kind of take from that experience? Right, no doubt. I mean, it's a game of inches. Inch here, inch there. You know, that's, that's the difference in hitting those shots, and we're going to hit those shots. Last one. Good. G given how difficult last year was, I don't know, Like, is there any extra special feeling after this one to, to rinse it away, or, or is it just sort of another win? It, no, it, it definitely feels good. You know, it feels good to start off on the right foot. You know, it definitely helps get that bitter taste out of your mouth that we've been holding on to for a long time now. So, but we have, we have another opponent coming up next week, and we have to focus on them.